Okay, hello boys and girls. This is Lalitha Star. Um, mm. uh, my camera's in a bit of a weird position today. Do excuse me. Um, but my room's in a bit of a disarray at the moment because I just got the girls a new cage. But we'll go into that on another day. Um, I'm going to do another painting video today for um, some models. I don't think any of you have ever seen this before. You may have, I'm not sure. This is my painting box. Slightly warped in the middle, I've just realised from something, I'm not sure what. And now I will show you what I'm going to be painting. Um, okay. Um, now I have a very good friend. Um, play WoW with him an awful lot. Oh, I used to. I don't really play it anymore. Right, you see the thing behave. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I hate having issues. I remember being getting headaches using this recently. <coughs> Light, so I can actually see what I'm doing. This may get a bit bright. That should be fine. Okay. Right, anyway. So I have a very good friend. Um, his name is Jeffrey. Well, his name is Jeff. But only to his friends. I'm not going to go into surnames. Um, anyway, so I'm going to show you what I'm painting. And then I'm going to spend half an hour painting some figures. I'll show you how far I've got so far. Now, um, you may be able to hear the girls a bit more than normal, my de two Daegu, Liara and Tally. There is a, a reason behind this. Um, I bought them a new cage and they are now lower down to the floor. So you might be able to hear them a bit more. Okay, so I've got Three separate groups now. Actually, four. And you'll see most of them are in the middle group. Okay? One is in the third group and one is in the last group. Okay. I'm basically painting uh, little apocalypse figures. Mm. I've got to get a better camera um, for him. Um, I'm not too sure on the game. I just got asked to paint these figures um, for his birthday and Christmas. Now I know Christmas is gone, but I was incredibly busy over Christmas as you could probably tell, so I didn't actually get to do an awful lot. Um, so I've got three groups. Uh, ones that took forever to glue together, because this one kept breaking at the feet, so I had to really glue her together. Um, and they haven't been base coated because of that. Um, ones that have been base coated and have had their bases treated with this um, uh, new paint from uh, Games Workshop, technical paint, um, Argrel's Earth or something. Let's have a look. Mm. That one. Um, they've had two coats on the base and have been base coated themselves. Okay. Um, third group is the I'm painting at the moment group. Maybe that's a bit harsh at the moment. But yeah, um, she's not finished. I've um, finished her boots. They look very um, <sighs> my camera's in a we really weird position at the moment. Um, yeah, I've finished her boots. I need to highlight her legs. Um, and dirty up her top. And finish highlighting her t-shirt. Um, and then I've got the completed one. Um, I'm not sure how well you can see that, but eh, it's alright. It's quite nice. Not not my normal standards, I will say, but it's still quite nice on the now you'll notice they all do not have arms. Um, 
there is a reason behind that. I'm making sure the bodies are all painted before I start pairing up the arms to make sure that I don't mess it up because I'm very good at messing up stuff. As you probably see, where's my paint? Oh, I need that purple. Mm. Where's my ink? I will need that blue for the highlighting. The palette can come out. The paper can come out. The seraphim shade for the t shirt and skin. Here's the flesh for the skin. Yeah, as you can see, I'm expecting to try and get an awful lot done this evening. It, it may or may not happen. I may end up being getting absolutely nothing I want done. And that wouldn't surprise me at all. Because that's the way things tend to go when I'm painting. Um, God, they're noisy at night. Obviously I won't. No matter where I position this light, there always seems to be a light. Like this uh, magnifying glass, there always seems to be a light directly above it, and it always causes me some problems. So, we'll give it a go. Now, you'll notice I've got a palette, but I don't tend to water down my colours. A lot of artists are going to be going, Oh God, no, why? On something this small, watering it down can actually be... Mm. No, actually, that can go away for a while. My eyes aren't hurting me yet, that's okay. Dear PC, you are my only cock in here. If I get everything sorted, stop turning off. I know I, I'm not using you right now. Admit now, Jeff, if you are watching this, I'm not as good at painting these for some odd reason. But know this, I'm trying. I'm the perfect fan. And this is why I said I was gonna. I was hoping that I was gonna get an awful lot done because I got her done in an hour. She looks all right. Like I said, it's possibly not my best colour scheme in the world, painting scheme, but I'm trying to get it so you can see, but as I said, my room's a bit of a mess at the minute, so actually if I leave that there, I can lean back a bit. hear the frightened running of the day go then. Okay. As they gnaw on boxes and hope mummy won't get too upset with them. Now I'm not, as you can possibly probably tell, using a daylight simulation bulb. There will once again be those of you screaming that you can't get the correct shadows in. 
But yeah, but have you seen the price of these things? They is expensive. And put it this way, a girl on my salary doesn't really want to be trying to afford daylight simulation bulbs. To be honest, I think they're a bit much for anybody. And they don't last exceptionally long. If any of you listening to this go, well, they do, and I know where to get them and they last forever, please tell me. And if they're particularly cheap, you may find that I have one in my next video. Or two. Or three. As we get closer and closer towards spring and I need less and less. Oh. I wiggled a paintbrush, you silly girl! Yeah, they're also a bit more skittish since they've been moved downstairs um, from where they were used to. Okay, so that's the um, trousers done. Oot. I probably completely missed the camera there. <laughs> Just in case. Right. Need me a paintbrush. Why am I using a lot of white? Well, I figure it's a very easy colour to distress. Um, and white is actually one of the most preferred colours for sports t shirts, um, shirts, vests, and so on. So Yeah. I get the feeling if you're in that kind of environment. Also, white's really easy to come across in the wild. Wait, no, I need that. I need a bit more of that because I need to do that to this. And it shows up blood and gore nicely. That's the kind of thing you want in this character. Okay, that's the serif colour. It's the shade all done. Right. Okay. I need a fly brush. Why can I never find my dry brush when I know this? So I have an awful lot of paintbrushes. Not all of them sit about three inches. Uh, oh, one of the brushes lost its head in there. Have a look at it. But as you all know, I love dry brushing. I love shades. They make things quick and simple to paint. While still giving it a really nice. the worst paint for coming off of my hands. However, it works off it fairly easily enough. In this case, peels. Um, yeah. So, black on top of the grey. Let's make it 
might not look so out and out all over the place grey because as you may have noticed on um, the dragon I was doing I did this a lot I'll probably be doing the same thing on my Tyranids so it's Swarm Lord Now, rather annoyingly, I need to let her dry. Oopsie. Oh, yeah, and I also need some of that colour highlight up the chef. Okay, so, we'll start on the next one. It depends which one I'm actually interested in doing, you see. Because some of these characters are awkward. To paint. Oh no, and that happens with them an awful lot. So there it is then. So for those of you listening, um, my shop is doing fairly well, I've got quite a few commissions, not through my actual Etsy store, but I will include a link in my video because um, that's the kind of person I am. Um, through my Facebook however, which I shall not link, uh, for obvious reasons. You are not being done. Um, a lot of my friends, okay, admittedly they are friends. And this sounds horrible, but they. A lot of people would say that they're not real commissions. I think they are. few drawing commissions and even have gun modification commissions. So I have had those for a while, I just haven't got around to doing it. I'm going to notice that an awful lot I like the white. Because if I'm honest, I'm not actually a big fan of these models. Um, they look, look nice painted by other people. <laughs> these guys. So yeah, um, I've got currently a couple of Valentine's Day cards in the making for those of you out there who do that kind of thing, who like doing that kind of thing, you know. Um, If you want your own one made, I make custom cards for £2.50, British money, so I'm not sure how much that actually is in American or 
um, anywhere else made, unfortunately. Um, yeah. Um, or, I do do drawing ones, so you can pick your own design, um, and I'll draw it for you for £5. Why is that a bit more? Because I'm more likely to throw out the card that, um, a couple of times. Um, it's a lot harder for me to sit down and draw than it is for me to sit down and Okay, sorry about that guys. Um, looks like I am actually going to have to cut this one short. Um, irritating as all hell because I'm probably talking to you and I haven't even finished one person yet. But my batteries are dying once again. I'm very, very, very tempted to get hold of a new camera in the next coming days or so. Um, I guess they're having a sale, so I may just have to do that. Anyway, bye bye, guys. Thank you for watching. Um, she's almost done. She might get done next time, next video, or she might be done by next time. We'll see. Okay, bye bye, guys. Thank you.